This video explains about the development of truncated square pyramid. The conditions are square pyramid is resting on the ground with its base. When a square pyramid is resting on the ground with its base, definitely the axis is going to be perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. The base edges of the pyramid are equally inclined to VP. The cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw an XY line. Since the base edges of the pyramid are equally inclined VP, initially draw one base edge 45 degree inclined XY line. Then draw two sides perpendicular to the first side. Join the end points and complete the square. Draw the diagonal of the pyramid. These diagonals are the slant edges in the plan. Name the corners. Intersection point of the diagonal is the apex point. Project the apex point and maintain the height of the pyramid in the elevation. Project the base corners up to the XY line. Join these points from the XY line to the apex point. These are the slant edges in the elevation. Name the points in the elevation. Now the projection part is over. The sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. The sectional plane can be seen as a straight line in the elevation. Locate the cutting plane on the axis. Draw a horizontal reference line. Draw cutting plane with a given angle. To draw the development of truncated pyramid, measure the true length of the slant edge. Draw a line with the slant length. With the same length as radius, draw an arc also. Now, with the base length as radius, Cut arcs on the development part. Since this is a square pyramid, four segments should be marked on the development part. Join these points with straight lines. Join these points to the center of the arc drawn with the slant edge as radius. All these lines should be very light because uh, at the end we can darken the necessary lines. Name the points on the development. Measure the distances of points on the slant edge. Mark it on the corresponding lines of development. Join the point, these points by straight lines. And finally darken only the required edges.